Welcome to SpectraSensor service videos. Today we're going to be talking about how to take a data download from the SS1000, 2000, and 3000. We'll start with the SS1000. All right, to take the data download from an SS1000, you'll need the analyzer, a computer, the serial cable, as well as a screwdriver. To connect to your analyzer, you're going to take one end of the serial cable, doesn't matter which one, and plug it into the DB9 port on the outside of the analyzer. You can tighten down the screws and take the other end and plug it into the serial port on your computer. Again, tighten down the screws and you're ready to take the data download. By default, the analyzer is outputting in normal mode. If you're in another menu, say the parameter mode, then you'll need to press pound and one to return to the normal mode and get normal output. When you're ready for your data download, press the pound button and 6 to download the spectrum information to your computer. This will take a minute and when it's done the analyzer will display mode and then press pound and 1. And here we'll look at the SS2000 data download. So here you'll use the SpectraSensors analyzer, the SS2000. You need a PC with a serial port. You need your COM cable and a flathead screwdriver to install your RS-232 cable. To install the cable, access the 12 position terminal block and you're going to use the first three positions. In the first position goes the black wire, the next one is the red, and the last one is the ground. Once the connection's been made, uncoil your RS-232 cable, connect to your laptop, secure it appropriately. So by default, the analyzer is putting out normal mode data across the RS-232. If you're in a submenu, you can return to normal mode to get this data stream by pressing pound 1. To get a data download, press pound 6 and it starts the transfer. And once the transfer is complete, you need to return the analyzer to normal mode by pressing pound 1. Here we'll look at the data download for an SS-3000. To take the data download, you'll need your analyzer, a serial cable, as well as a flathead screwdriver, and of course your computer. For the SS3000, the data connection for the channel A is identical for the, that we showed on the SS2000. For this, I'll show the channel B connection. So you'll take your data cable, and if you can, run it through your conduit, so you don't have to slam your door shut on it. Terminal position 3 will be your ground. Terminal position 4 will be your black, and terminal position 5 will be your red. Once the connections have made to the analyzer, connect the other end to your PC and secure the connection. For an SS3000, to do a data dump for the channel A, remember to connect the and use the connection that's made for the same as an SS2000, the channel A serial position. So for a channel B data dump, to get a normal mode operation, if you're not in no normal mode, hit pound 1, and that's normal data. And to get a data download, hit pound 6. And then once completed, return the analyzer to the normal operating mode, which is pound 1. In order to operate HyperTerminal, you would need to have a Windows 2000 or Windows XP operating system. If you have anything higher than that, like Windows Vista or Windows 7, you would need to download the HyperTerminal off the internet. The serial port of the laptop is usually labeled in COM1. Now, if you don't have a serial port on your laptop and you're planning to use a USB to serial converter, you want to make sure that USB to serial converter works. Through our experience, not all of them do work. This procedure is the same for all three units. First, click on the Start menu, All Programs, Accessories, then you go to Communications, and then you click on Hyper Terminal. Now, it will prompt you to enter a name. This would be the name of the program that you wish to save. You can click on any icon. Now here, skip the first three fields, and you go to Connect Using. This would be the port that you're trying to get your information from. For our case here, the laptop has a serial port that works on communication COM port 1. So you click on that and then you press OK. Next it will prompt you for your COM1 properties. 
you enter the following data. Bit per second would be 9600. You would leave the data bit as 8. You would leave the parity bit as none. The stop bit as 1. The flow control, you would change that to none. You press OK. Now, this is your streaming data from the analyzer. To save the data, you would click on Transfer, Capture Text, then you would browse to save the file. I would prefer if you enter the serial number of the unit, click on Start, and notice the capture is bolded on the screen below. That means that all the data currently being streamed has been captured. Previous data would not be captured before the capture sign is on. Now, in order to get the mode 6 data, you press the pound 6 on the analyzer. Notice that the stream stopped for a second, and then the whole data would be downloaded until you get the spectrum and the parameter list. Once that's done, you press pound 1 to go back to the normal mode of operation, and your data stream will be back on. Now, to stop the capture, transfer, capture text, stop. Now, you can look at the text to verify that the data you got is correct. And you would send this text file to your service engineer to look over the data. Thanks for watching the SpectraSensor service video, how to take a data download from an SS1000, 2000, or 3000. If you have any questions or comments, please contact us at service at spectrosensors.com. Thank you.